guys, so today's video is going to be my August BoxyCharm unboxing. If you are unaware, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription service in which you receive five full-sized beauty items for just $21 a month which is ridiculous. So every month you open up the box and you get this little card that lets you know sort of the theme of what this month's box is, as well as a list of all the products in your box, how much they cost, how to use them, where to get them, all of that good stuff. And the theme this month is Beach Please. So cute. So basically, if you're new to my BoxyCharm videos, I basically like to unbox the whole thing. And then at the end of the video, I will go ahead and try out all the products on my face or my hair or my skin or whatever the product is, you know? And then I will insert a voiceover to let you guys know how I feel about the products. So let's go ahead and dive right in. This is what it looks like when you open it up. The first thing I'm drawn to is this. I don't really know why. This is the Alouette. Did anybody else just start singing that song? Face paint, lip, and cheek tint. I feel like I'm not gonna like this. For lips, apply directly to lips with your finger or a lip brush. For cheeks, apply a small drop to the liquid brush and apply to the apple of the cheeks in a soft, circular motion. What? Okay, so it's basically just like a liquid blush. Whoa, that looks really dark. I don't know if that's gonna work for my skin tone as far as cheek products go. It feels very creamy in consistency. I don't know how I could ever make this work for my cheeks. I really don't. I would need to use like the smallest amount of product probably with like a beauty blender or something. It looks gorgeous blended out. It just looks like it's a little bit more suited for a deeper skin tone. It's got pretty packaging though for sure and I've never heard of the brand Alouette before. I hope I'm saying that right, Alouette. Alouette's face paint is enriched with jojoba esters, vitamin E, and other essential oils that will heal and nourish the skin while providing a long-lasting dewy color to the cheeks and lips. This little nugget retails for $35. I would never pay $35 for this. I'm not that into like liquid blushes though. I just, I'm not into it, I don't know. We'll see if it's worth $35. There is a Tarte product in the box this month and it comes with this little Tarte $10 off orders, 60 bucks and over on Tarte.com with the code BOXYAUGUST. So that ain't bad. And this is the stinking Tarte product. It's an eyeshadow palette. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. It's one of those little circle palettes that they make. Whoa. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is so stunning. I'm all about the purples and the blues and the cool tones mixed with like the metallic gold. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. <gasps> These are my kind of colors. This looks like a very smoky palette to me. All the different names that have to do with like sea, the ocean, like pearl and riptide, breezy, siren, seaside, things like that. This is so beautiful and it comes with a big old mirror as you can see. I have one other Tarte eyeshadow palette. It was a limited edition palette, the Energy Noir palette. I don't reach for that as much as I wish I did, but I don't regret purchasing it at all because I love to reach for that palette anytime I want like a super purpley, mauvey, smoky eye. And that palette also came with a blush, which is bomb. Um, diggity. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to try this. I really want to swatch it for this. <gasps> These shadows are so soft. Okay, okay, okay. This shadow here, which is the shade Conch, I think that's how you say it. It literally felt like butter when I put my finger in it. The other ones felt a little bit stiffer, but still really smooth and soft. Wow, those are really pigmented, but you know, you gotta try them out on the eyes to see the blendability. I think it's kind of cool that it's a circle too. It's, you know, a little bit different. Crease-free eyeshadow palette with the best-selling creamy powder formula in eight cool tone shades. See, that's how I know it's my kind of colors because I love my cool tones. I would sort of classify this sort of bronzy shade as more of a warm tone and maybe even this color too as more warm, but the rest of it definitely is super duper cool toned. So pretty, can't wait to try it out. And this eyeshadow palette retails for 36 bucks. All right, moving right along, I see a pair of lashes. These are the Pure Pro eyelashes, 3D cruelty-free luxe lashes. 
up to 30 wares. That says it right on the packaging. 30 wares, that's a lot of wares, y'all. That's a lot of wares. These are stunning. This is the Style Bombshell. These are like the most beautiful pair of lashes that I own without a freaking doubt. Look at how wispy and fluttery they look. The band looks relatively thick, not like the thickest band I've ever seen, but it's definitely not one of those like super thin, flimsy sort of looking bands. These look really, really promising. I'm a drugstore lash girl. Like all I wear are drugstore lashes. Like, Ardell. Here's 3D lashes are handcrafted with the finest luxury silk to provide ultra lightweight natural looking fuller lashes. These cruelty free lashes are durable, reusable, and safe for contact wearers. And they retail for 14 bucks, which is not bad, especially if you really can wear these. 30 times because they're not the most expensive lashes I've ever heard of, but they're also nowhere near as cheap as like Ardell or you know other brands at the drugstore. All right, next thing in my box is uh, this bad boy. This is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner in the shade Ebony. This bad boy open. I feel like they put Bella Pierre in the box a lot. Okay. Seems really basic to me. It's definitely more like a buildable pigment, but it feels nice and creamy. It feels good. It feels sort of basic, but it feels good. Waterproof. Oh, waterproof. I don't think it says waterproof on the actual packaging, but it says waterproof on my little BoxyCharm card. Creamy waterproof eyeliner for true definition that lasts all day. This liner glides on smoothly and is formulated with pure minerals, natural waxes, and antioxidants, making them hypoallergenic and safe for all skin types. And this retails for 15 bucks. I'm not about spending 15 bucks for an eyeliner, y'all. It doesn't take much to impress me when it comes to eyeliners. And honestly, I don't really wear this kind of liner much like in my waterline. I especially don't wear a lot of dark colors in my waterline because I think it makes my eyes look small. Whoa, okay, that's kind of hard to get off. So since BoxyCharm claims that it's waterproof, I'm excited to try it in the waterline, see if it lasts all day long. And the last thing in the box, look at this. What the heck? These are Moda brushes. This is a three pack of brushes by the brand Moda Pro. Do you say it like Moda? Is that how you pronounce it? They are cruelty free, 100% vegan, no animal products used affordable luxury it says it comes with a pointed blush brush a chisel brush and a crease brush i love getting brushes and boxy charms because brushes are like the one day in makeup that i don't really love to spend my own money on is anybody else like that if you leave up to me i'm spending all my brush money on wet n wild and l any of the high-end brushes that i have were either given to me by my mother or in boxy charms excellent for wet and dry product waterproof silk touch handle aluminum ferro secures brushes professional quality fibers hi buddy are you done barking and being super annoying it's like late at night i know you're confused because i'm filming but it's bedtime oh these are oh the handle feels better than the actual bristles <laughs> it's like that sort of soft touch narsy feeling they're a little bit sticky, but you know, that's okay. We got an eye brush as well. I feel like you can never have enough crease brushes. Never, ever, ever. Okay, this one's a little bit more stiff. I've never had a brush that's shaped like this before. How cool is that shape? Be good to chisel out your cheekbones. This one's very stiff, but really soft also. The names of these brushes remind me of that meme that's like some dude probably made the meme talking about girls talking about makeup. BMX 130, BMX 250, BMX 430. BMX means likes to me. This Moda Pro three-piece brush set features a pointed blush, chisel blender, and a crease brush. These brushes will achieve endless looks and can be used with both wet and dry products. And this set of the three brushes retails for 26 bucks, which actually really is not that bad, especially if the quality is to par, you feel me? All right, so that's everything for the unboxing portion of this video. If you wanna go ahead and see how these products perform on the face, then let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so I'm just starting out by trying out this chisel brush by Royal and Langnickel. It's from their Moda collection. And I'm just using my butter bronzer to sort of bronze up my cheeks and carve out my cheekbones a little bit. I also brought it up on my temples and my forehead a little bit just to narrow out my face. But I like the way that this contoured my face. Now I'm just trying out the blush as well as the blush brush. I do like this brush. I think I will prefer it with powder brushes. And as far as the liquid blush goes, I liked it. I just 
don't think I'll be reaching for this. I don't reach for liquid blushes that often and they did need more product than I thought I would, but I think that this brush applied it really nicely. Now I'm just trying out the eyeshadow palette as well as the crease brush and both of which I love. You can't really go wrong with a nice fluffy crease brush and these shadows are super pigmented and blendable and easy to work with. I also love the shades in the palette. It's such a neutral palette that it's perfect for just the everyday consumer. So I just thought I'd show you the sort of bronzy look that I created with this palette. I use the two brown shades, the lighter for my transition and the darker for my crease. And then I went in with the shade at Siren, which is the deepest brown color, and I just sort of deepened out my outer corners with a pencil brush. Then I went back in with that crease brush just to blend everything out and make sure everything is nice and seamless. Now I'm taking the shade Sunset just on my finger and I'm packing that all over my lid. Now for my lower lash line, I'm basically doing the same thing that I did on the top, on the bottom, taking the two lighter brown shades and then keeping the deepest of all three on the very outer corner and then I take sunset and sort of buff that along my lower lash line as well. Now I'm taking the shade Pearl and I just use that to highlight my inner corners and holy guacamole, it is the most intense, most beautiful inner corner highlight I think I've ever used in my whole life. And now I'm testing out the eyeliner, which I did like. It did last a good amount of time and it was very black, pretty basic, but you know, it did what it was supposed to do. Now I'm just trying out the lashes, which I freaking love with every ounce of my being there. So stunning, so fluttery, so wispy, very dramatic. You're going for that type of look. Just a note, I didn't put any mascara on my upper lashes or my lower lashes. That's why maybe they look a little bit frosty because there might be a little bit of powder on my actual natural lashes and that's why they're making my lashes look a little bit gray. But I went ahead and tried out this face paint stuff on my lips again. It's fine, just nothing that I will really reach for. Really quickly, I just had to let you guys know that I went ahead and totaled up all of the prices for all of the products that we got this month, and the total overall retail value of this month's box was $126 and I only paid 21, so there's that. Also, please excuse my hair. I just rolled out of bed. So that's everything for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you got in your August bossy charm and whether or not you thought it was worth it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine, and I will see you guys next time. In which you receive, in which you receive five, in which you receive five, The handle feels better. Let's put everywhere. Endless looks and can be used both wet. These brushes will achieve. This Moda Pro 3P. Oh, you're getting in your head in.